Hey guys and welcome back to my channel! Oh my gosh, I'm in the best mood today. I am friggin' living for this look right now. I made it really autumn, fall inspired for you guys up north who are going into autumn. The orange and the deep lip are reminding me of like, you know those Halloween pumpkins? It reminds me of like Halloween, so this look I feel could be perfect for Halloween if you just want to look really sexy, really like Halloween-y themed with like the orange, the copper, the deep brown, the deep lip. I feel like you could totally pull this off if you want to go to a Halloween party or something like that and you don't want to look really scary and like bloody. But it's up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's look. I've only used one palette today, which is awesome. So it's so easy to achieve. You're not picking different colors from different palettes. It's all in the one Morphe 350 palette, which I feel has all the perfect colors for like an autumn themed makeup look. So if you guys do enjoy today's tutorial, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me down. That would be so helpful. And if you are new, please subscribe down below so you guys can join my channel and join my YouTube fam and you can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials which be fab done fab I plan to bring out some really exciting Halloween themed makeup looks just saying anyways I'm gonna stop rambling I tend to do that I'm sorry so let's go straight on with this tutorial enjoy guys Mwah. hey guys so as we can see my face is on zero right now so let's go straight to 100 real quick hun real quick <laughs> So first of all, I'm going in with these Nourish and Repair Face Oil Drops to repair my skin because it is a bit sensitive at the moment. And also going in with the Face and Body um, Moisturizer to really create a nice moisturized, plump looking base for my makeup that I'm going to be applying on top. So once I've let that sink into my skin for half an hour, I'm going in with my foundation. And I'm going in with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm placing this all over my face and down my neck as well. And as we can see, I placed a little bit too much foundation on. And I was like, cheese and crackers, girl, that is way too much. So I had to blend that through. But you guys have seen me blend my foundation in a million times. So I'm just going to speed through that real quick. Next, I'm going in with this Beige Cosmetics Pro Concealer in the shade 106. And I'm using this concealer to highlight because I'm going in with two concealers today. I'm using this one to highlight my face. So I'm placing it around my eyes in a triangle center of the face, all those good places, and also priming my lids with that. Then I'm going in with my um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moin, and I'm placing this on any areas, like any acne scars, blemishes, or breakouts that I have. And this concealer is great because it's the same shade as my foundation, so it doesn't highlight those breakouts or anything like that. And to buff that concealer in to create no harsh lines, I'm using this Real Techniques Buffer Brush and I'm just basically feathering the edges of the concealer into my skin so there's no harsh lines, like I said. And to keep that full coverage effect on, on those breakouts and things like that. To set the concealer in place, I'm going in with my Fit Me Press Powder in 135. And I'm using it on a dry beauty sponge. So I grab some of that powder. I use my usual technique. So I press it onto the skin and I go in an upward motion towards my hairline. Create a lifted effect to the face. So there's a subtle highlight there and it lifts the face up subtly and makes you look more awake and fresh and all that good stuff. And I set any areas that I need to, so I set around my nose, I set my eyelids, I set my forehead, my chin, all those good places so that it stays in place all the day. Then to set my face in place and get rid of that powdery look, I'm going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just spraying that all over my face to my neck and I go in twice to really get that dewy look. Then I'm going in and doing my brows real quick, so I'll count you down, and voila, there we go, having nice structured brows. I was like, it is a good brow day today, guys. I am loving them. If you guys do want to see my brow routine, I'll be posting one up real real soon, so stay tuned for that. Otherwise, let's move on and bronze the skin. So to bronze my skin, I'm going in with my usual tan shade from my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit on an MP Set Blush Brush, and I'm just placing this on any areas that I usually usually would like to bronze, like my forehead, cheekbones, chin area, and also jawline to create a nice structured effect to the face as well. And yeah, just sculpt out my jawline a little bit. And I also bring some of that bronzer powder on my neck as well because I do like to bronze the body as well for a more natural effect. 
Then I go in with my beauty sponge, my damp beauty sponge, and I just blend that product further into my skin so it looks more like skin and less like product sitting on the face. To sculpt out my cheekbones, I'm going in with my usual sculpt shade from my NYX kit. And I'm using a tapered bronzer brush from Chi Chi, and oh my god, I've been loving this technique lately, guys. It looks so good. It chisels out the cheekbones in a natural way as well, but also, like, really structured. And it just looks so, so good. I'm loving this brush. And then I go in with my damp beauty sponge again to further blend that into my skin so it looks more like a shadow and less like product sitting on the face. Moving on to the eyes, I've already placed some translucent powder underneath my eyes to catch any fallout that may, you know, fall from the eyeshadow onto our foundation and we can just dust it away later. So I'm grabbing this soft orange shade from my Morphe 350 palette and placing that through the crease with a soft crease brush. This orange is going to be our transition shade. Next, I'm grabbing a deeper orange shade on the same soft crease brush and I'm placing that just below where we placed that softer orange. So I'm creating a gradient effect, so I'm placing that just below in the crease still. And I'm just working that in a little bit at a time, building up that colour to its desired opaqueness. Then I'm going in with this gorgeous brick brown shade. And I'm placing that through the crease and out of the area. And I'm using a petite crease brush to do this one. And I'm placing that a little bit at a time to deepen it up and blend it through so that I'm not stuck with too much product and not enough room to blend. So the key is to add a little bit at a time and blend that through the crease and out of the area. Next I'm grabbing that deeper orange shade again on the same soft crease brush and I'm just whacking that right on the edge of where we place that brown down to soften the edges and bring some of that orange back. Grabbing a deeper brown shade from the same palette, I'm going on with a pencil brush, this is from Gloss, and I'm packing this colour from outer corner to through the crease to just deepen it up a little bit more. Then I'm going back in with that petite crease brush and some of that brick brown shade and I'm just further blending out any harsh lines with that deeper brown shade and then I'm going back in with some of that deep orange shade on the same soft crease brush and just bringing some of that orange back and again blending out any harsh lines that may be present. Next I'm going in and carving out my crease so I'm grabbing an eye concealer brush and I'm just placing on some concealer on the inner half of my lid because I want a half cut crease. I don't want to cut the whole crease so I'm doing a half cut crease and then I go back in with a Real Techniques buffer brush and just blend out any edges with that concealer so that it fades into the eyeshadow instead of being any harsh lines there. Next I'm going in with this absolutely flipping gorgeous eyeshadow from the Morphe palette. It's this gorgeous coppery shadow and it's so metallic and shimmery and just mm, 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 everything I love in an eyeshadow. And I'm packing this on with a chisel shader brush to create the most pigment. So I'm placing this all over where I cut the crease where that eyeshadow is to really just make it intense. And that eyeshadow is used without any fixed glass or fixed finishing spray. It's just so pigmented and beautiful. To deepen up the outer corner again, and the crease area. I'm going back in with that pencil brush and some of that um, de um, deeper brown shade and I'm just placing that on the outer corner and through the crease and I'm also helping that coppery shade to blend into the brown so I'm using the side bristles to kind of fade into the copper shade. Next I'm grabbing the deepest brown that we're going to use today and I'm placing this on the very outer part of the eyelid area and through the outer crease area so not all the way through the crease just the outer crease, so the outer third. Then I go back in with some of that bricky brown shade to soften the edges, and then back in with some of that deeper orange shade to soften, soften those edges. So we're just continually blending and bringing back shades to kind of create that gorgeous gradient effect. Then I'm going back in with the lightest orange that we use at the very beginning, the transition color, on a soft crease brush. And then I'm just using that to soften any harsh lines with the orange so it all just fades into one another and it's just a beautiful smoky eye kind of gradient, just all my good stuff done. Then I'm going in with this gorgeous Eye Art um, Revlon Glitter Liner thing. It's in the shade Topaz, I keep forgetting the name. It's in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm just placing this on the very crease, cut crease area. So where we cut that crease, I'm placing it along that the copper like eyeshadow line so that it just creates that gorgeous half glitter cut crease and when you close your eyes it's like BAM girl 
bam like when you're talking to someone it's just gonna be like a bit of pop of something extra i just love this technique it's my favorite look lately just doing that glitter cut half cut crease mm -mm -mm. once i've done a glitter cut crease i'm going in with some mascara and then I'm going in and tight lining and placing some black eye coal on my waterline as well and setting that in place with the black eyeshadow so that it doesn't move. And so it's more pigmented, so it really creates a nice pigmented waterline. Then I'm going in with some lashes and I'm using the Attitude Lashes in the style Fluffy and I just fangirl over these lashes all the time, guys. They are stunning. So beautiful, especially with this eye look. I'm in love. Then I'm going in and placing some of this light orange shade on the bottom waterline, the bottom lash line I mean, and I'm just basically creating a transition colour for the deeper shades that we'll be applying on top. Then I'm going in with that deep orange shade on a petite crease brush and buffing that as tightly as I can towards the bottom lash line to create a nice smoky pigmented orange. Then I'm going in with this um, Pro Smudge brush and some of that deepest brown that we used and tightly wiggling that against my lash line and to buff out that line, that harsh line, we're going in with some of that brick brown shade on a Zoeva pencil brush to create a nice smoky effect so it blends out seamlessly. For the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with this gorgeous brownie highlight, like bronzy shade from my Violet Voss Highlighting Trio. And I'm just placing this, again, like I said, on the inner corner and brow bone. It complements this look so well because of its, like, brownish, coppery undertone. Like, it just really complements this eye look. So I loved this inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight. And then I placed on some bottom lash mascara. And the eyes are complete, you guys. I am in love. <laughs> Because I was a silly billy and forgot to contour my nose, you guys know how I love that nose contour, I'm going back in with that sculpt shade from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit on a Real Techniques base shadow brush. And I'm just contouring out my nose just so that it just stands out a little bit. And then I go back in with a beauty blender and just, you know, help that product melt into the skin. For blush today, I'm going in with my 9N palette and grabbing this gorgeous peachy shade and placing this on my contours of my face for a bit of a gl uh, flush of color on the cheek I feel like it complements this look so so well for highlight I'm going in with my violet v Voss trio today and placing I think it's moon gleam on the high points of my face I'll actually go in with my NP set blush brush to create a softer highlight at the beginning on the high points of my face like my cheekbones high points of my brow point brow bone and then I go back in with an eyeshadow brush to really focus that highlight on the very very high point for a nice highlight and it kind of creates a faded effect so it's not so harsh if that makes sense and I also place that highlight on you know my nose and cupid's bow and bottom part of my lip and then because my camera cut out guys um I also um really carved out my cheekbone areas with some translucent powder I just baked it on and then I'm just brushing it away um to create that really chiseled cheekbone cheek effect and then for lips today I'm going in with bull chick for a lip liner it's from Colourpop and I'm placing that on my lips and filling them in and then over top I create my own little concoction so I'm using two liquid lips today I'm using the Zoeva matte liquid lipstick in the shade matte chat Ch matte chat I think that's what it's called chat matte <laughs> I'll leave it linked down below and I'm also using my um liquid sweared lipstick from NYX in the purple one I'm just going to combine those together on the back of my hand, mix them together and place them on my lips with a Real Techniques accent brush. And that is the finished look completed guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I'd love to see you guys in my next video. Otherwise have an amazing day guys. You can use this look for a Halloween look if you guys want to. I feel like it really ties in with the Halloween colors. If you have any Halloween ideas, or requests you'd like me to create this Halloween, please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, have an awesome day, guys. I love you all so much. Mwah. Bye, my loves. <laughs>